Okay guys, so leaving off where you last were, which was decompiling, you'll notice that you have this little thing that says 2 out of 2 hunks failed. Don't even worry about that, it's completely off topic, it's irrelevant, and you'll be fine without it, I've been fine in the future, it does not affect anything. So once you're done, go ahead and hit any key to continue like it says, and minimize everything, and go into your Eclipse. Now it should have been downloaded, and if not, uh, I suggest you download it, or go into Edit Rocket. It's really your choice. If you're on a Mac, I'd suggest Edit Rocket because I know that's for Mac. I'm not so sure if Eclipse is, even though I think it would be because Eclipse is a very big program and I'm kind of just fumbling on now. But what you're going to do is when you get this workspace, go to Browse and go to the folder you created, which mine is MCP. Go ahead and lower that and then go into Jars. Wait, no, what am I doing? Sorry, don't go into jars, but go into source, SRC, which should have been created when you decompiled it. If not, I'd suggest redoing tutorial 1. And then, sorry, don't drop down SRC, but instead highlight SRC. So now your path should be C users backslash whatever your name is. Mine is Luke, so backslash desktop, which is where I created my MCP folder, backslash MCP, which is the folder name, and backslash source, which is SRC. So go on and hit OK and it should it's going to load the workspace and then we're gonna have something to do and then um, once it's done with this loading of the workspace uh, I'll teach you something very basic in the beginning and it'll be part one of modding of actual modding and not just setting it up so I guess we'll look forward to that wouldn't we okay so it takes a little while and I'll be pausing this video time to time just to kind of you know, straighten things up and make it more neat so you understand it easier. And once it's done, it's about to finish. So I know it always pauses right there, but then just pops up like that. So I'm going to go ahead and maximize that. And then go to the top right and you'll see Workbench. Click Workbench and it'll bring you to this page. Oh, I'm sorry. And then go to File, New. And then, oops file new other and then click on Java project and hit next it's going to load and then the project name will be minecraft without any capitals because you'll get this thing that says the wizard will automatically configure the JRE and the project layout based on the existing source so you should want that and then hit finish and a little box will pop up and ask you yes or no always click yes um, I don't know what happens if you click no. I've just never tried it. So I know there's a saying something like that, um, which you know works. Use the. Oh, I don't know it. I don't know it. That's why I said I don't know it. But um, yeah, I don't know the saying. But just always click yes. It's it's better that way. Um, and you'll notice this thing that says errors 100 out of 1,372 items. The way they fix that is highlight your Minecraft project, then go to project up here, properties. And then Java Build Path, Libraries, Add External Jars, and then go to the folder you created on your desktop. Mine is MCP. And then go into Jars, and then go to Bin, and then highlight all your jar files, which would be Minecraft, LWJGL, underscore util, LWJGL, and Ginput. Next, you're going to get a bunch of arrows beside the jars that you just added. I want you to let down all the arrows except for minecraft.jar. Don't let down the minecraft.jar arrow. Because if you do, I've again, I've never tried it. I just know you're not supposed to. So, go on and double click your native library location on any of these jars because we're going to do it for all of them. And go to external folder, MCP, jars, bin, natives. Hit okay, and then control C to copy that uh, direct location path. And then you're going to do it for the same ones, which is, or you're going to do it for all of them, which is native library location. Do it for all three of them. And if you're doing it for four of them, um, you should only be doing it for three of them. So don't do it for Minecraft.jar again. And then hit OK. And your errors should be gone. Yep. And then now we are ready to mod. So go on and open up your Minecraft. And then go to net.minecraft.src. And then you're going to get this little button up here that says new Java class. You can click that, or you can go over here and click New, and then Class, or you can even go up here, New, and then Class. 
right now I'm just going to create a new class and this will be our base class which is what your mod's going to always revolve around you have one base class like the core class that you're going to create and all your other classes will be using that one core class to it's like building think of it as like building blocks you have um without the f I don't know how to explain this uh basically you're creating this class that's going to be uh where you're going to keep every single uh little detail about the mod inside this one class and other and the other extreme more details are going to be inside other classes so we're going to create our core class right now and the way you create a core class using mod loader is type in mod with no capitals underscore um, I'm just going to do tutorial you can do anything you want like I don't know mod I don't know it's really a good choice but make sure you have mod and no capitals and an underscore and then whatever you want can be in capitals it can be like I don't know if you one of these type of people that likes it that way I don't know you can name it whatever you want oops now I'm not even spelling it right I forgot it okay tutorial nope that's wrong again great okay so I'm gonna go ahead and finish and take a drink of water so I'm ready to start talking when we're modding and okay um for whatever reason it made the class in the default package what you just want to do is um, go ahead and click and drag uh, the class you file the class file you just created into net.minecraft.src and it'll put it in that source folder so you can extend it from base mod and you will get no errors and it will be perfect so go on and under package.net or package space net.minecraft.src go on and put import java.util dot random capital R and right now oops don't add parentheses right now what I would like you to do is go ahead and right click the video and if you're on my page go ahead and hit, like view comments and other related videos so you're on to where you can see the comments go ahead and right click the video and click pop out it'll become very helpful you can just like resize Eclipse to be be able to fit it like put the video right here and put Eclipse right there so you'll be able to see what I'm doing and be able to see Eclipse so you don't have to keep minimizing I just thought I'd share that because it's what I do for every tutorial video and so after public class mod underscore tutorial do type in extends base mod and then you'll get mod underscore tutorial highlighted in red now we'll fix that but in due time we will so under that um, go ahead and type in public mod underscore tutorial and then parentheses open and close them and then hit enter and nothing goes inside your parentheses nothing goes inside your parentheses and go ahead and open up a squarely bracket and close the squarely bracket and go inside those two squarely brackets and hit enter so now you should have a little area it says public mod tutorial and inside those two squiggly brackets what we're, we're going to refer to this as our to-do list and so every time I say um, let's go back to our to-do list you'll know this is what I'm talking about this little section of the code will be considered our to-do list so I'm gonna just type in to-do list oops that's wrong to-do list so go on inside your to-do list type in add names capital N parentheses and then a semicolon set textures parentheses semicolon uh, add fuel parentheses semicolon you can kinda of see a pattern right here right uh, we'll do register blocks parentheses semicolon uh, there's one more I'm forgetting there's I have set textures add names oh add recipes of course and parentheses semicolon and then add smelting parentheses semicolon oops semicolon okay so this is our to-do list again and now you should have a bunch of errors and I don't want you freaking out and like going crazy oh my goodness I have a bunch of errors what am I going to do uh, I'll just get rid of those errors for you real quick so under that squarely bracket type in public string capital S version capital V and then open and close parentheses and then hit enter and then do your squiggly brackets and type in return and then two quotation marks and then a semicolon
And inside those quotation marks, you can put whatever you want. Uh, a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people think it has to be like Minecraft 1.7.3, which is the current version of Minecraft. But no, it can be like, um, I love shoes, women, and people. It can be anything. Like, it's, it doesn't matter at all. Uh, but for this, I'm going to just put mod underscore tutorial uh, version 1. So, now you should see that you have no error up here. But now you still have all these errors, and it's like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? Well, here's what you do. So, under that squirrely bracket, go ahead and put public add names parentheses and then under that put squiggly brackets and then um oops messed up here uh no i don't know what it did um you're supposed to do public void add names and then under those squiggly brackets public void set textures and you can probably see a little pattern going on here public void add fuel uh public void register oops I spelled public wrong public void register blocks and then then you're gonna do public void add recipes public void add smelting okay so now you should have no errors whatsoever but import java.util.random should be underlined in yellow meaning that right now it's kind of useless you can just get rid of it and have no errors but we're not going to do that um, because we're going to be using it later to generate our block but for right now we're not going to be generating a block instead what we're going to be doing is making you know I don't know what we're going to do Inst I think what we're going to do is actually create tools so what we're going to do is first um, I'll, we'll create tools in the next episode I know what you're thinking. Oh my god, Luke, you just said in that previous episode that we're going to create mods in the next one or in the next episode. And this is the next episode. What are you doing? Um, right now, I want to keep them short and sweet. Right now, um, I, I'll always put my source code inside the description in case you get a lot of errors. Um, right now, I just wanted to give you the basic layout of the whole mod. And so, I'll see you next episode, and if you're following these tutorials, please subscribe so you can see further tutorials when I upload them. And please, thumbs up if you like the tutorials and you want to see more of them. But for right now, I'll be leaving, and I'll see you in my next episode. Goodbye.